Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR family gaming video. This is Droid TDR and we are in Minecraft Dungeons going into the creepy crypt. Level six, holy smokes, what are we gonna find in here? Anyways, we're looking for secrets. This is the secret video. So I'm gonna show you as many cool things as I can in Creepy Crypt. Now, if you just want the secrets, that's all you're interested in, Drop, jump to about minute, I don't know, 12 to 15, somewhere in there. But this section here, I'm gonna show you some of the cool things in Creepy Crypt and some of the cool weapons that we got in Creepy Crypt so that you can see what is not a secret. So for example, this battle here where we found that skeleton in the little side hallway, I don't know, sepulcher or whatever it is, and uh, that chest right there that we get from defeating the mobs that spawned in after we touched that, yeah, that's not a secret. Thought it would be? Not a secret. You actually find these fairly regularly in Creepy Crypt, at least at some of the higher levels. And uh, random chests that are floating out there, just sitting on the ground, of course, those are not considered secrets either. So let's run forward a little bit. We still have found none of the three secrets, if you saw down there. This is another set piece in Creepy Crypt. It's there almost all the time. But before we go and trigger it, we're gonna just show you something you should, need, should be aware of. Boom. You can attract mobs through the walls, and actually if they get close enough, your dogs can attack them, but creepers can also do damage to you. <laughs> Oops, through the walls. So, here we are. This area here, you trigger that lever, and it brings in all sorts of enemies. It's like a wave defense type arena. And once you've got them all down, which will just be a moment or two here. See, I'm using my bone bow with uh, piercing, so it's pretty good. And I've got my my uh, halibrand axe with fire on it, I believe. And uh, you see my dogs just chase somebody up these stairs because skeletons, oddly enough, actually do run for cover and try and shoot you from cover. So that's what happened there. And when you defeat the wave defense mobs, you can hear the little glowing, little glowy chimes, right? Little glowy chimes. Anyways, the glowy chimes means that there is a chest nearby and this is the one that just spawned in. Boom, nothing big amazing there. And by the way, that's not considered a secret. Shucks. So let's see what is considered a secret later on in the video, but moving through this level, just absolutely loving my... If you're going to be solo, you may as well have Bonebo and three good dogs chasing around with you. I mean, wow, it's pretty good. So, Creepy Crypt, boom de boom we're knocking things down left and right. I am searching for every possible thing so that I can hopefully save you time. I've not found any secrets inside the crypt, actually. See, zero out of three. But we do have the objective coming up ahead of us. Oops, but there's a wall in the way. So, let's go around here. What we have to do is we have to find the Lost Tome. That is the idea of Creepy Crypt. Creepy Crypt is not a normal mission. Ooh, spooky laughter. It is a side mission. So you have to find the Lost Tome, this ancient book apparently. And when you do, then you can escape the Creepy Crypt. But you have to find the tome first, so we're going in to find the tome. Little wave defense there gets us through the door. And now this very cool place, which I have jumped off crazy amounts of times trying to see if there's any secret, uh, I don't know, things to jump to, but there aren't. At least not that I've found. And then there is a chest right behind the tomes. So let's go pick that up. Boom. And this is what it looks like, so anytime you see that on the map, you know, oh, that's where the tome is. So we got picked that up. Now it says, leave the crypts. But first you gotta go smash these vases, cause, cause they got, they got emeralds in them. Go smash those vases. All right. And just checking out, can we jump off the back of that? No, we actually can't. At least I was able, able to. Not in the beta anyways. And, oops, we lost a, we lost an emerald. Go back and get that. There we go. And now when you leave the tome room, 
There's another wave defense, or at least a wave of mobs that come at you. Bam! There they are, showing up as we're trying to make our way out of the tome room, or the tomb room, or whatever you want to call it. I believe it's pronounced tome. Alright, so we gotta... Now we hear the, the chest sound, right? And there it is. A little jingle, jingle, jingle of the chest, and we got the chest, and there it is. Still not considered a secret. But then I went here, and this I've only ever seen once. One of the coolest finds of the dozens of runs I did during the beta, sometimes with the kids, sometimes on my own. There's this, this, this monument tomb area. And man, this is like straight out of Dungeons and Dragons right here. I can't do anything with that guy over on the side vault, but the guy in the middle. Uh oh. What? Did I just trigger a wave defense? Is that all I got here? It was just a wave defense of. Holy smokes, a lot of skeletons, honestly. But they are down, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. Shabuya, we got some stuff, just some basic hunter's armor and some more gems, but what you gonna do? Is that considered a secret? Nope, it's just a wave defense chest. So let's try this one, triggering this wave defense. This has a lot more extra areas. And we got to use a little TNT, so that was kind of fun. This has a couple extra rooms with um, vases and emeralds in it. Lots of fun battling these guys. You can see there that skeleton was running for cover, trying to run away and then turn around and shoot arrows. We got another chest. You heard a little chimey chime chime. And more emeralds. And that's basically all that this wave defense is. So I've seen that this particular room has like sometimes three little antechambers, sometimes one antechamber, sometimes two. Not a secret, not considered a secret. So, running around here, this room that we're about to go into does have some pretty cool stuff. But, here's, check out that piercing arrow. It just, like, goes all the way through. Bam! Blocks this. Bam! Gets, like, four or five mobs. So, whenever I'm in Creepy Crypt, I absolutely love the bow. I absolutely love piercing. And I absolutely miss creepers. And they blow me up. So, this area here... This is the one right there, that little thing I green circled. Sometimes there's a little secret there, but it's not considered a secret. I'll show you what I mean a little later on in the video. All right, well, this is another run, a different run. We're going in from a different angle to go get the ancient tomb. So finding the lost tomb, tome, sorry, not tomb, tome. Finding Lost Tome, have to do the little wave defense here. Got him done. Go trigger it. Go get some of them emeralds. Go get that little chest that appears. And go pick up that tome. Bam bam. Boom de boom. We got some good emeralds coming in now. That's right. You can even hear the pages of the tome flipping around as if it really wants to be read. Come on, Tome. Give me all your secrets. There we go. Nice. All right, so cruising out. By the way, if you do have dogs, you have to watch out that they don't fall on the blocks that fall. So uh, as you're running and you know some of those uh, blocks in the hallways fall down when you walk on them, you don't want your, your dogs to go run on those and fall through. It's a sad way to lose a dog. But... There we go, wave defense almost done. We're almost out, we're almost at our victory chest. Bam, victory chest done, right there, Shibuya. We get anything good from this one? Because I will be showing you some cool weapons like this one. The Bone Bow, that's a yellow one. That is, uh, I don't know, I call those legendaries, oh dear. We may have lost a dog, not quite, maybe, nope, nope, they're still with us. So here we go, this bone bow, that's what I'm actually using right now. I'm using a level 34 bone bow that's almost maxed out on enchantments, and I got a 38. So you can see I've got a unenchanting and a piercing on mine, but the 38 has 
different enchantments. And I'm like, does it have any piercing? Please give me piercing. No, it's got something called supercharge. Got something called power. Gives a little bit extra damage. Nice. Ricochet, which is pretty cool. You can sometimes hit two mobs. Rapid fire. Okay, increase the speed. Small chance at a little bit of an explosive shot on that fuse shot. Yeah, it's just not doing it for me. Just not doing it for me. So, even though it's a higher level, I love the piercing so much that I decided not to cash it in and get the other one. Now here, we've got some enchanted zombies. Fast attack, go get them doggies. Oh no! Did you see that one dog get blasted across the screen? Holy smokes. But this is what I really wanted to show you. Look at the windows up there. Because suddenly, you see some flashing in there. Finally, we found what I call a secret, even though they don't call it a secret. This is a fairly rare event in Creepy Crypt, where you get to, oh wait, wait, we gotta go get the, the pig chest. There we go, pick that one up. All right, anybody else that we need to clean up real quick? Oh yeah, level up, that's what we're talking about. Bam, bam, bam. Now, let's go into this little corner room. That right there, that is a skull that looks suspicious because there ain't no eye holes on it. So let's go check that out. Fairly rare occurrence, as far as I can tell, for this to show up in Creepy Crypt. So you go click on it, and... Shabuya! We got ourselves a little secret area. Now, if that doesn't qualify as a secret, I don't know what does. There you go, obsidian diamond chest. What? That's got to be good. And what do we get? A sword and a fishing rod. Ugh. All right, whatever. And... It does not count as a secret. You see, I have zero out of one secrets found. Now during another run, we went in and found this room again. Now this was with a four player game, and actually, Mr. Isaacs, who's one of the big deals over at Mindfair, was playing with us, and we had him open it up, and we went to see what we found this time, and you know, people got stuff, but what? Rylan got a diamond sword. That's what we're talking about. That's what we expect from an obsidian diamond chest. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah. So, that's not counted as a secret, sadly. But it is pretty cool. Back to the other run. All right, so my solo run, I went and got that chest and then, oh, what do you know? It's another button press thing. So let's press that button. Let's do a little wave defense. See what we get in this chest. I got my fingers crossed that this could be some good loot because I was sort of disappointed after opening the diamond obsidian chest and finding nothing really good. And there is how you use dynamite, ladies and gentlemen. You throw it, you call your dogs back to you, and you get the red snake! Red snake bow, level 34. Awesome. Even though I'm level 43 now, I was pretty psyched about getting yet another unique, or what I call legendary, weapon. The red snake. It has chance for arrows to explode. Ooh, I could have a growing in size. I could have wild rage or piercing. My favorite. Let's do that. Let's do it. Clickety click. Upgrade this, buddy. All right, let's at least get every other arrow. Yeah, now I'm out of enchantment points, but that is what I'm looking for. Let's try out this red snake. Yeah. Woohoo! All right, swap it out. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. And from now on in that particular run, I'm using the red snake, so I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit. Hard to see all the cool effects of, that it does, but every now and then you'll see like a little added explosion. And the added explosion is that fuse shot or that explosion that comes from the snake bow, which is pretty cool. It's basically got a built-in fuse shot, but there was nothing else in this dungeon. Still no secrets found, so I'm like, what the heck? There are no secrets in the actual crypt. So, once you're out of the crypt, are there any secrets? Well, let's go see what we find here. So, out of the crypt, you're still in the overall Creepy Crypt mission, but you aren't actually out of the woods yet, so to speak. Oh, bad fun. Okay. So, here, I can hear a chest. I hear a chest. It's behind the trees. Is that considered a secret? 
No, it's not considered a secret. It was just a hidden chest behind the trees that you could barely see. So that's unfortunate. Then also I ran by one apparently I missed on the map, which again was hidden behind the leaves. No one could see it. Is that considered a secret chest? No, it's not considered a secret chest either. What the heck do they consider secret chests here? Now we know in previous maps, they were ones that when you walked close to it, it appears. So if those don't count at, because they were hidden, let's go see what does consider a secret chest. Well, I can hear a chest sound. I see there's no hiddenness around here. I don't, I don't get it. It seems like there should be something here. I hear that there's a chest. I don't know, let's, let's like dive off this ledge and just see what happens. Can I, can I shoot a secret chest? No, I don't think so. Take a plunge. Wait, what was that sound? What? Huh? I don't see a chest on the map, but what? What? That makes no sense to me. I jumped off the ledge to an area that I can't get to and I die. And there's a chest there. Uh, okay then. That is considered a secret chest. One that does not exist until you get within a few blocks of it, I guess. And that one, it happens to be one that you can't get to unless you wanna die. So I ran around looking for other ones and I thought, ooh, this might be one area. You could dive into that cave, maybe, but no. I tried that like 10 times, couldn't do it. Another run. No secrets found in the actual crypt. Running out, still gotta find two. Runny, run, run, run. Can we find any out here? Where the heck are they? Any of those crazy invisible ledges you have to dive off the edge of? Oh wait, I recognize this from Creeper Woods. Here's a big stack of wood. I recognize this shape. I just heard a little interesting sound there. And boom. Yep. In this stack of wood, there is actually a secret chest. And there you see, I've found one of the two. All right, well, let's open that up because you know what? I saw this map shape on the map exactly opposite. Right there, too, is another wood area, and boom, there's another secret chest. Is that considered a secret? I'm pretty sure it didn't show up until we did, until we showed up. So that is a secret chest. And they're all in the woods. They're not even in the crypt, even though there's some pretty cool places in the crypt, by the way. And now we're gonna go into yet another one where I found a creepy crypt inside a creeper woods, which was inside the creepy crypt. So what the heck? All right, so here's a mini crypt inside of the woods, inside of the creeper crypt mission. So here's the mini creep. Oh my gosh, two TNTs. Wait, 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 run away, run away. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh my gosh. <laughs> New mistake. All right, there we go. Whew. Okay, glad that got out of my system. That's to make sure that you all know how not to use two pieces of TNT at the same time. You don't run right back into them and then not quite dive out of them. But here we are. We are in the mini crypt inside of Creeper Woods inside of Creepy Crypt. And you can see I'm using that snake bow that I got, which is pretty cool. Every now and then, it has an explosive arrow that lodges itself either in a wall or in a enemy, and it explodes and destroys everyone around him. So my dogs are taking care of that zombie up there, and I'm like, what the heck is this thing? Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I find one of these in Creeper Woods in the mini crypt? Yeah, this does look familiar. Now, is this going to be considered a secret? No, I've already found the secret on this particular run. So I may as well get this. I think it's just a normal chest. In fact, it is just a normal chest. And uh, there's another normal chest. You can hear the little chime chime, clingy clingy 
sound of the wind chimes or whatever, and there's normal chest. And yes, our chest count has gone up by two, from 24 out of 27 to 26 out of 27. But not too much else in here. It's like a mini crypt. Now this, here, here comes the fuse shot for my bow, which is pretty sweet. Fuse shot, bam! I knocked down like four creepers at once with that fuse shot. So, good job, Snake Bow. I like the piercing. I like the fuse shot explosion that's built into it. So there's the mini crypt in the creeper woods and the creepy crypt. And during another run, here I am. Got my diamond pickaxe out. Trying to find stuff. Where the heck? Oh, here it is. Here's another little chimey chime I can hear. And I know from previous that there's something hiding out here. Every now and then you do get a similar map configuration in this exit we have seen before. So I know there's something out there. I'm just going to try and figure out how to get it. Yep, you jump into space and then you reveal a chest that apparently is floating on a cliff that you actually can't get to. So let's see if they fix this when it's out of beta because I can't get to it. Why was it easy to open it the first time and I can't seem to open it this time. Come on, let's jump from this angle. I don't know, let's jump from a different angle. Let's go get it. All right, ready? Jump. Yep, didn't work. All right, let's try again. And let's try again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I'm gonna get this chest, gosh darn it. And again, and again. And I keep failing. Maybe from this angle. Maybe I have to click like mad with my cursor on it while I'm jumping. I don't know what works, but I got it. It only took me two health potions and boom, that one's done. Fine, I got it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all of the secrets that I could find in the Creepy Crypt mission. They're all in the woods. They're not actually in the crypt, though there are some very cool things in the crypt, as you saw. So if you find something once the full game is released that we miss, please let us know. We have got to get all these secrets. And of course, if you found this video useful, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.